gigantic. So Josh was out of town, my husband's out of town, and I thought I can totally take this bush out by myself. And I'm trying really hard, okay? I'm so hard. It is not easy. The root system, it's so deep. I mean, this bush, I've already pruned the whole outside, but I, I just can't get underneath it. I'm not strong enough. And that leads me to today's devotional because Cade said something pretty cool. He said, Mom, why would they plant this gigantic bush here in the first place? I said, no, Cade, it was a little bush at first, but then it was never pruned. And then it grew into what? A monstrosity. <laughs> That's right. Then it grew into a monster bush. And uh, it's now very difficult to take out. So this is what I want to talk about. Do you have areas in your life that need to be pruned? Because we try to do it ourselves. And we think, I can do this all on my own, when ultimately we can't. In John 15, uh, I absolutely love this whole chapter. And it talks about uh, the vine and the branches. So it goes on in verse one and two, that's what we're gonna read. It says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. So it's not, I'm not the one that prunes, right? Who's the one that prunes? God. Why is it God? Because he can just keep you under control. <laughs> well, that's a good answer. <laughs> We have to realize that we don't have the strength to do it on our own and that's okay. You know, I'm trying to do this without my husband, but ultimately I'm going to need him to help me get this bush out. Hopefully when he comes home tonight, he's not angry at me for, <laughs> for trying to get the bush out by myself. And you know, I wonder if God looks at us and he thinks, if they would just ask me for help, then I'll help them. The Holy Spirit, he gave us the Holy Spirit to be the best helper in, in the universe so that we don't have to do this alone. So why is it that we feel like we have to take it all on ourselves whenever we need God to help us to, to prune so that we can be fruitful? What are some areas in your life that you need pruned out? Cade, how about you? You got any areas? Um, to obey more and stop being mean to my brothers. <laughs> That's it's a pretty good area. You know, I think we all could obey more and stop being mean to our brothers and our sisters. I mean, everywhere. Not just your real brothers and sisters, but your brothers and sisters in the Lord. Over the past few weeks, the Lord has been ministering to my heart just about my words. Idle chatter, specifically. And he said, Anna, straighten up your words. I want you to, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. Use wisdom in your words. Do we talk about that a lot? <laughs> we do. But am I able to do this on my own, by myself? No. I need Jesus. I need the Lord. I need God to come in and to help me every step of the way. And then the number one comforter, the Holy Spirit, He's uh, He reveals the truth of the Father. He gives us the power that we need to make it throughout our day. That's the cool thing about living a life with God. God wants us to be fruitful Christians that bear good fruit. And to know that, you know, if you've got some deep things in your life, because it's like these roots in this bush, they went so deep. And it's hard to get them out. When you don't prune and you try to do it on your own or you just leave things alone, then it can get tough. And you can even find yeah. some secret things in there that aren't good. Kate asked if I found any spiders yet. Yeah, there's going to be some things in your life that come out that it's good when they come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Right. So we're pruning. No, we're not pruning. God. God's pruning. <laughs> yeah, God's pruning. All right, thank you guys for joining us this week. It's going to be a blessed week. Ask the Lord to help you get things out this week. Whatever it is, He wants to help you. He's going to strengthen you. He's the one. It's in our weakness. He makes us strong. It's His strength that we, re we rely on. Because all things are possible through Him. Not through me. Not through me. But through him. All right. Love you all. God is faithful. Hope to see you soon. Pray. Bye. Pray I don't get in trouble for this bush. <laughs>